Hi there and welcome to another episode of Nerf Hunt. This time we're looking at driver 372.9 that just recently launched from NVIDIA. Let's see how it does on Maxwell. Now I'm using my EVGA 980 classified uh, display card to test it out on since I haven't bothered to upgrade to Pascal yet. So let's see how good it is. I'll just use this one. Um, first things first, uh, yeah, 2.9, new driver, mainly for Forza Horizon 3, our first PC Forza, well, first true PC Forza, it's not Apex 6, which was a demo on uh, Microsoft Windows, yeah, new, new Forza game, nice, I'm very excited, I'm going to actually try it out sometime, we'll see if I actually get it and do some, uh, uh, game views, um, Basically, yeah, that's nice. Also, uh, SLI uh, profile for Arc Survival Evolved. That's been added, so look for that. Should be interesting. Um, well, I didn't run SLI, so I won't be testing it myself. Then, yeah. Let's see if, if it's been nerfed. Now, if you go look at the performance for Firestock, previous two drivers... Well, three drivers were you know, questionable at the best. But, guess what? Fire Strike's back. It's actually done blo bloody good. It's my best performance yet on Fire Strike since uh, starting the series. So, I'm very excited. I'm actually bloody happy. I'm so happy. that uh, I'm not sure if NVIDIA listened to my previous uh, complaint. Or somebody just notified something. Or they just realized, oh, mm, we're going back. But they did that. Time spy, yeah, it's also still increasing. It's uh, so I'm also happy with that. The X12 performance is st steadily increasing. I know it's not pure hardware D uh, DX12 yet, well, since it's not Pascal or even Volta, but I'm actually quite happy with the performance, even if it's software device. Even five frames per second increase. That's Bloody awesome. I'm seriously saying this new driver is doing well across the board. All performance is up. Well, except for maybe one thing. But Heaven has increased by 5 frames per second. Very nice. Same for Valley. Valley has also got 5 frames per second increase. That's not bad in my books. That's a serious increase in performance and I'm actually very happy with it. Day 6, Mankind Divide, solid increase of 3 frames per second, on average, that's not bad at all, so, even the increase there. Doom, OpenGL, now, they've been previously su suffering on OpenGL, even, even, and Vulcan performance, not to say Vulcan, because Vulcan is just, it was suffering badly in there, but, I must say, I'm, I'm happy with a 6 frames per second increase, on average, on OpenGL, and Vulcan, 9 frames per second increase. Very good in my books. I am, it's not, still not 369.69 performance yet. They still have some work to do to get back to 369.69. But I'm happy. I'm actually glad about that. Far Cry Primal, again, 3 frames per second standard volt average upgrade. And even on the minimum. So. Good performance there. Dragon Age, Dragon Age Inquisition. Well, <sighs> no real performance increase there. I guess the previous driver was just, well, let's do something for Dragon Age, and this driver, well, we'll give this one a skip. But at least it didn't go backwards. So I'm happy about that. Batman Arkham Knight. Three frames per second again. Seems to be a theme across all the games. Three frames per second is not bad at all. I'm happy with it. Any increase is good in my books. Battlefield 4 does the same again. Four, three, th three frames per second on average. So, yeah. If we look at all the performance increases, I'm actually very happy to see this. I thought with the previous drivers, like, Fire Strike's going backwards. What's going on? And also, with the average frame seconds on dx12 and vulcan was going not too bad but it's not the way it should be but 
this drive has actually done some real work towards improving the f figures again. So I'm, I'm extremely happy. So if I would recommend this driver, yes I would. For anybody who wants to play any of the games, you will get a performance increase. Or if you do a clean installation. That's one thing most people need to uh, keep in mind. Do not do the express, uh, express, express updates. You're going to get stuff installed that you don't want. So what is best is do a, a custom installation. Select the clean installation option and just install what you need. If you don't have the 3D vision stuff, don't select it. If you don't plan on using the HDMI uh, output for audio and that stuff, don't install the driver. It's a waste. Installing stuff you don't need will cause problems, unfortunately. So I would recommend make sure that what you install is what you need. That will increase your your likelihood of actually getting some good performance all, all the time on each driver update. So yeah, all in all, very good. Nerf is not there. I'm happy. You can still run uh, Maxwell. So if you like, please subscribe. Give us a like or a dislike. And give us some comments and feedback in the, uh, the comment section below. I'd really love to see what you guys think. Um, even even if any other ideas you might like me to see, do or include, please include that for me also so I can have a look at it and see what I can do. Also, uh, click the support. Uh, if you want to do a donation, I would love to. Uh, we need your support. Even become a patron. Uh, link up there. Just click, uh, become a patron and help us grow. And uh, yeah, once again, thank you very much for watching this episode. I'll see you next time. G signing out.